In this video, we're going to have a look at some motion in two dimensions with constant acceleration. So what we're going to use is the equations of constant acceleration, also called Suvat equations, which also apply in two dimensions. So it says a particle P moves with constant acceleration 2i minus 5j. At time t equals naught, P has speed u meters per second. And at time t equals 3, P has velocity minus 6i plus j meters per second. Find the value of u. So we'll tackle this much like we do an ordinary Suvat question. So let's write down all the information we're given in the question. S, U, V, A, T. But notice I'm leaving a bit more space between the S, the U, the V, the A and the T. Because we're actually going to write these down as vectors. So displacement, we don't have any information about whatsoever. Initial velocity, well that's what we're trying to find. So let's call that U1 u2 velocity the final velocity is minus six one and notice i'm writing these as column vectors i think it's much easier in my opinion to do the calculations if you write these as column vectors acceleration is two minus five and the time described in the scenario is t equals three so the velocity is minus six one when t equals 3. So it's saying find the value of u. Well, the equation we're going to use is v equals u plus at. And technically speaking, I should really underline the v, the u, and the a because the vectors. So that means that v minus 6, 1 equals u, u1, u2 plus a. 2 minus 5 times t. And notice that t isn't a vector. Well, that's because time occurs linearly. That is, time exists on a straight line. So, doing this here, simplifying this, minus 6, 1 equals u1, u2, plus, and we'll times both of those by 3. So, 3 lots of 2 minus 5 is 6 minus 15. And at this point, notice that we can form two equations now. One for the i coordinates, there, and one for the j coordinates. So let's do that. So looking first of all at the top line, we get minus 6 equals u1 plus 6. Well, we'll rearrange that. We'll get u1 equals minus 12. Similarly, for u2, For the bottom line, we get 1 equals u2 minus 15, which means that u2 equals 16. Therefore, the vector u equals minus 12, 16. However, look carefully. That's not what the question asked. The question said uh, P has speed, u meters per second. So it's not after the velocity, it's actually after the speed. So now we need to find the length of u, the modulus of u, magnitude of u. So now the speed of the particle is the length of that equals the square root of 12 squared plus 16 squared. Notice I didn't write minus 12 squared. That's because I'm saving myself a bit of effort here. I know that when we square a negative number, it becomes positive. So type in the calculator, the square root of 12 squared plus 16 squared equals 20. And in mechanics, units are important, meters per second. And there we have it, an exam question involving constant acceleration in two dimensions. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up at the bottom.